This is day two of Infocom TV News. Hello again, everyone. I'm Jill Nicolini, and Melora Donahue and I will be reporting to you throughout the show. What's going on, Melora? All right, Jill. I've got something that is really new at the show. Attendees have to come check out the Infocom Innovation Showcase. This is a place where companies who have never exhibited at Infocom before can show off their groundbreaking new products and solutions. Attendees can vote on the most innovative project in the showcase, and the winning company will receive a free booth at next year's Infocom. And the top three vote getters will all be given cash prizes. This is just the second year the Innovation Showcase has appeared at the show, and it's already a huge hit. So make sure you swing by the North Hall and check it out. The QI PHDMI 2 from Contemporary Research is a dual eye PTV encoder that can process two separate MPEG-2 or H.264 video streams. Each encoder is supported by a hardware scaler that can format any video stream between 1080p and 480i in NTSC, VGA, and PAL standards. It allows audio to be embedded or fed separately to analog or digital inputs. And and it features inputs that are compatible with composite video and closed captioning data. Tired of subpar subwoofers? Then take a look at the new KS28 by L Acoustics. This reference sub offers extended bandwidth down to 25 hertz and adds three decibels of SPL over the company's previous model, the SB28. It weighs just 174 pounds and its integrated rigging allows for rapid deployment. The KS28 is exclusively driven by the new LA12X amplified controller. And and like its predecessor, the KS28 is versatile, making it a great solution for everything from classical performances to EDM festivals. Digico's mixing consoles are ready to take a quantum leap forward to the next level of processing. With Quantum 7, Digico's mixers now feature more than 600 channels of processing and almost 3,000 potential IOs, plus eight assignable MADI connections and two DMI slots. It has a couple of unique features. One of them is nodal processing that allows us to put EQ and dynamics on each AUX send, allowing you to put different mixes out of the AUX buses. It also has a new solo system called True Solo that allows you actually to hear exactly how the, the artist is hearing the signal from the AUX mix. And you can see here this is a, a multi-band compressor and you can simply touch onto the screen and control exactly what the parameters are doing on the work surface, allowing it to be very quick for you to manipulate all of those channels of processing that are available. And all of these features are available to be loaded into your existing SD7, allowing you to get a greater return on investment from your existing infantry. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Well, so do the folks at Christie Digital. Their high-end processing works with their velvet LEDs and boxer projectors for a complete video solution that will leave viewers saying, wow. Jeevan, this booth looks incredible. It's, there's so much, I don't even know what to look at, but specifically, I'd like you to talk to me about the velvet LEDs and the boxer projectors. We have over 300 square feet of uh, LED product from our Velvet family, our Merit series, and our brand new Apex. And this shot is a Merit 2.5 millimeter LED, very similar to what's at the Westgate uh, Superbook. The Westgate Superbook is a 61 million pixel uh, design. It's a massive, massive wall. It looks just amazing. Boxer projectors, we've got tons of them rigged up in our show. Uh, we're showing both 2K resolution and 4K resolutions. So here in this display, we've got uh, Boxer 2K resolution projectors. These are high brightness projectors, 30,000 lumens. Really, in, in what we're showing here, can bring the ice to life. That's really cool. And we'll be right back with more of Infocom TV news. Please stay right here. Hi, I'm Yul Jabara, CEO of Galaxy Audio. Many of you may not be aware we're in our second generation of family ownership. I'd like to invite you to stop by our booth and check out our new products. For any job, you need the right tool. StarDraw's latest design and documentation software imports PDF files to create editable drawings and includes industry standard symbols for architectural layouts. 
See everything that's new in Star Draw Design 7.2, the fast, easy way to draw and do more at booth C6441. Welcome back. We're now in day two of our coverage of Infocom 16 and this year's show is already off to a great start. You got that right, Jill. The floor is already packed out here and all of the top AV brands are showing off some incredible new product. And of course, our friends over at Infocom International did a great job setting up the show and also added some really cool new attractions to the mix. So if you're looking to take the CTS exam or have your certification renewed, stop by Infocom's certification table on the 200 level near the Westgate Skywalk. The helpful folks there will tell you everything you need to know. Spread the word with the newest addition to Spico Technologies, PBMA series of public address amplifiers. The PBM240A can handle up to 240 watts of 70 volt speakers. There are three versions of this amplifier. This particular version happens to have a built-in CD player slash tuner. You also have the option of getting it with a tuner only or with nothing uh, built in in terms of sources. It'd just be a blank plate there. Uh, the amplifier comes with an IR remote control that lets you change the volume up or down. It also has a nice system lock feature where if you hit that, nobody at the face of the amplifier will be able to fiddle with the controls. Uh, finally, it comes with rack mount gear and has multiple inputs and outputs. The Wizzes at Black Magic Design have worked their magic once again. They are showing off a host of innovative new products at this year's show, including the Black Magic Duplicator 4K and the Ursa Studio Viewfinder. Bob, obviously at Black Magic Design there's a lot to talk about, but I'd like to discuss viewfinders and duplicators. All right, so our new Black Magic Duplicator 4K allows you to record 25 SD cards all in one go, so it's live. So you can record Ultra HD, take the live stream out of a concert, say, record to 25 SD cards, and boom, and you can cascade them, so you can do 500 at a time if you want. And then also we introduced the new Black Magic Studio Ursa Viewfinder, and this is for the Studio Viewfinder. So this turns an Ursa Mini into a full fledged studio camera. So the viewfinder is an attachment to the original Ursa Mini and now with ATEM camera control you have a fully functioning uh, studio camera. So the idea here is it's a really robust piece of metalwork that will easily remove off of the Ursa Mini so you could go back to using uh, a regular viewfinder if you need to. So uh, it powers off of the same connection as the original viewfinder and so you get power and SDI video there. Drew, tell me what I need to know about Sony's new addition to the robotic camera line. Sure, this is our SRG 360 SHE or SHE. Uh, those letters representing the triple output that this camera has. We're doing 3G SDI, HDMI, and H.264 encoded IP streaming all simultaneously. So it's a 30x optical zoom lens with a 12x digital zoom giving you a total of 360x. The camera does have a tally lamp and the camera is ceiling mountable, meaning we can invert it, hang it from a ceiling or from a, a bracket up high. The outputs are the uh, HDMI, the, the BNC connector is for your 3G SDI, and the LAN connection is for your IP streaming. We'll be right back with more after this. One click wonder, for real. Win a click share with Control Bundle. Come by Starin Booth C5634. Visit Tascam in Central Hall, Booth 12014 to hear about our latest products and programs. Tascam, reinventing pro audio since 1973. For real-time audio via Wi-Fi, your choice is black and white. Experience the next-gen hearing hotspot, featuring the all-new, all-in-one hearing hotspot server. Spot the obvious at William Sound, booth C9836. Your 
You're watching Infocom TV News, produced and written by Testa Communications, publisher of Sound and Communications, the commercial AV industry's leading magazine, as well as ITAV Report, a biannual supplement on trends in networked AV, published in cooperation with Infocom International. The editors of Sound and Communications magazine are scouring the show floor for the biggest stories and the most eye-popping new products. Our show is taped and filed throughout the day and broadcast 24 hours a day each day of the show. Now you can watch us on TV in the convention center or in the comfort of your own hotel room. And just so you don't miss a thing, you can also watch us on the buses to and from the convention center. That's right, Melora. So no matter where you are during the show, Infocom TV News is right there to keep you up to date on all the news that you need to know. Now, each and every episode of Infocom TV News is archived on the Sound and Communications website, so you can view it on your computer, tablet, mobile device 24-7. So to check it out, go to soundandcommunications.com slash Infocom TV News. At Lona's OmniStream AV over IP products let users distribute 4K video, audio, and control over a standard gigabyte network. Now the product family features a dual channel encoder, a dual channel decoder, and a Dante audio interface. These OmniStream products feature redundant AV networks with independent data streams. They offer secure content distribution and enterprise grade network error resistance. And they can compress 4K video with extreme low latency for a seamless viewing experience. Martin Audio has just released their newest family of speakers. The CDD Live line includes three full range speakers and two subs to cover just about any standalone or distributed sound setup. Our new portable touring and installation loudspeaker range which features our CDD which is coaxial differential dispersion transducer technology which has recently been uh, patented. On the rear panel here we've got a, uh, a multi-voltage power con true mains input. You've got your line input and a link output to a, a second cabinet. Two ethernet ports. It's a range of uh, three top boxes, an 8, a 12 and a 15 inch model and two subwoofers, a single 18 and a dual 18. All of the models featuring uh, inbuilt power with uh, DSP control, Dante Digital Audio networking. Um, and in enclosures which are built for our on-the-road toughness. Listen up! Media Vision has the perfect audio solution for guided tours. Their assistive listening system now includes portable transmitters. These small, sleek FM receivers are easy to program and run on standalone AA batteries. They have a maximum operating range of 100 feet, and each receiver has a removable belt clip that allows for hands-free operation. The AV production experts at Tascam are known for making products for everyone from hobbyists to high-end audio pros. And they've got everything you need to tackle any AV-related task. Melora's got the scoop on their latest offerings. Jill, I'll tell you what I have is the man who's going to give us the scoop. This is Eric. Eric, at Tascam this year, what are you guys excited about? I mean, we're always thrilled to be here because we've got all kinds of stuff that help people to really record and play back audio at the level they need to. Because in this world, everything's about, oh, how good does it look? How good does it look? It doesn't matter. How good does it sound? So that's what we're here about. One of the products that we're really most excited about is our new DA6400. This is our new flagship product. It's a 64-channel digital multi-track recorder and support and solves everything down to solid-state drives. So basically, you can have 64 channels of input, 64 channels of output, you can output on MADI, you can output on Dante cards, we're going to have some analog outputs in the future. And the nice thing is you can really use this for live sound, if you want to record what's coming off the stage, for houses of worship who want to record everything and get to a podcast, you can use this for museums, for education. It's amazing, what's kind of cool about this is that our customers are coming back and telling us ways to use this that we never imagined. So we're giving them the tools so that the artists can come back and really do what they do, and that's the most exciting thing for us. And don't go anywhere, we will be right back. Please stay with us.
Tired of racks filled with transformers, Velcro, and zip ties? Meet One Rack, TV One's innovative, powerful new solution for time-saving, pain-free installations. Mount it, power it, cool it. Come see the future of rack space installations at TV One Booth 6818. Sound and Communications associate publisher John Carr delivers a new on-air TV segment we called Eye on Infocom. So today, John talks about the shift to IP-centric AV and new opportunities for the integrator. These are exciting and challenging times in commercial AV. IP has entered and taken a dominant role in our industry, with adoption issues on both the IP and AV side. IP video is here to stay though, and those who don't get on board will certainly be left behind. But the good news for commercial AV integration is that now, lighting, security, and mobile AV communication can be a part of the offerings and system design. Digital signage has taken off and is a great example of AV on the IP backbone. Mobile device integration with a venue's AV or presentation system is another key application. We here at Sound of Communications developed the ITAV report back in 2003 to keep up with the developments and challenges on this subject. Pick up a copy of our latest edition in the pub bins or in booth N126. Back to you, Jill. Speaker manufacturers seem to be making a big push at this year's Infocom. New technologies, designs, and applications. The folks at PV certainly have a lot to talk about. Melora gives the report. Jill, I am indeed at the PV booth with my man Kevin here. Kevin, what is up in the world of Crest Audio? Well, we're really exciting. We're showing six new pieces that are designed specifically for the integration market. The flagship of that is our new PZS8250. It's an 8x8 matrix mixer that feeds into four Class D channels that can be set up individually as 4 ohm, 25 volt, 70 or 100 volt constant voltage outputs. Also has a Wi-Fi link on board for controlling and configuring it from your mobile devices. That mates to a companion piece, the IPA4250, that's another four channels at 250 watts per channel, so you can amplify all of your outputs. Bosch has added four new products to its Die Sentence Conference system line. The Die Sentence Discussion Basic, the Die Sentence Discussion Voting, the Die Sentence Discussion Language, and the Die Sentence Discussion Extended. Boy, that's a lot of Die Sentence. These wired conferencing solutions offer reliability and security thanks to advanced audio technology, cable, redundancy, and data encryption. It's an IP-based discussion system with five different devices for uh, participants to use. This is the Descentis Basic device. It's a device for distributed tabletop sound system with meeting control. Going from the basic device, we can move up to the extended, which adds, as you can see, a touch screen, so you can use it for voting or language translation. And at the top of the line of the five devices in the Decentus system is Decentus Multimedia, which actually brings multimedia content into your discussion. You can go out, connect to the internet, you can run Android apps on it. It really is for enhancing the visual content of your meeting. The other two devices are a basic device, just with the addition of voting, or just with the addition of language translation. Quit staring into space and head on over to the Starin booth. The AV distributor is demonstrating a host of new products and solutions from its stacked roster of manufacturers. What do they have for us, Melora? I'll tell you what I have, Jill. I have Bill Mullen, who is the CEO of Starin. Bill, tell our viewers what we need to know about Infocom 2016 over here at the Starin booth. Well, Melora, just four short years ago, Starin was appointed by Barco to do the market development for something called the ClickShare, which has become almost a household word in our industry. Uh, so we're happy that now you look around the show and the huddle space has become a phenomenon, uh, basically grown out of that type of collaboration capability that was in ClickShare and some other things. So now we've extended that where you can come into a space where you have ClickShare deployed and add control of the room via the button. So the button activation could tell your system to lower the screen, turn on the projector, help manage the room. So it's, it's for that simple system, but to add that extended capability. Now before we go to break, anything you'd like to add to today's show? Jill, with so much product to check out on the show floor, it's hard to concentrate on, on just one thing. But over here at TV One, I found an organizational dream. 
You gotta talk to me about this product, Andy, please. Bloody Knuckles, all the little devices that we wire tie and we Velcro and we stick in the racks and the little power adapters that we have to find places for in racks, it's all gone now. One rack is a modularized solution that allows you to configure the system in any way that you need to for accessibility. It starts with a power supply, which is optional, and then as we go down through, we have different size plates that we mount, pro mount devices to. I'll show you the module here. So this is the module that we're talking about. It has a voltage selector, so you choose the voltage of the device that you're connecting to on the board. So five volts, seven volts, 24 volts, and this is how we tie them together. You can customize the position of any of these power docks, and that's where the modules slide into from the front side. So essentially this mounts as the front cover and allows you to cool the system um, with a variable speed and variable uh, direction for these fans. 4RU, 5RU, and 6RU sizes. So we can get a lot of equipment into the system. We can fit 24, 32, we're talking about 32 devices. We're getting rid of 32 of these in your rack. Okay guys, when you are walking through the show floors, there's absolutely so many companies and it can be overwhelming because you want to learn about all of them. But right now, we're going to focus on one and that company is Annexter. Larry, tell, tell our viewers what they need to know, who you are and what you do. So Annexter uh, works with end users, integrators uh, and contractors to enable uh, the connected IP world. With our global distribution capabilities, our supply chain solutions, uh, as well as our technical expertise, uh, we're really able to offer a full solution. So here at Infocom, we're really focused on our full professional AV solution, which encompasses digital signage, sound and paging, um, conferencing, and control systems. And we can offer the full suite of products necessary in those areas. Oh, by the way, the ITAV report, a twice yearly supplement to sound and communications, has been the go-to source for AV integrators and IT specialists for a decade now. The spring edition's at the show, and you don't want to miss it. So don't forget to pick up both the ITAV report and sound and communications at the pub bins or at booth N126. All right, it's that time where I have to say, please stay there. Don't go anywhere. Don't leave us. We'll be right back. Let Barco control your room with just a click. ClickShare can now control your entire room with Neats. Come by Starin Booth C5634S to see it. Wow, look at that packaging. It's just incredible what we've got here. Power was that? OMG! That is just so awesome. One Systems Hybrid Series provides systems integrators with a universal direct weather loudspeaker solution for outdoor venues that require high fidelity loudspeakers with outstanding intelligibility, which also makes them exceptional for indoor applications. Visit One Systems at Infocom booth C11716. Command and control your intercom system with the FreeSpeak 2 Base 2 by Clearcom. This base station provides wireless coverage in the 1.9 and 2.4 gigahertz frequency bands, and it can support up to 25 full duplex wireless bell packs. Uh, it is four channels or, or five channels if you include the reply key. Uh, it interfaces to two wire intercom and four wire intercom, and it's, it's supported by 10 antennas uh, makes up the entire system. These are the bell packs for the FreeSpeak system. This is the 1.9 gigahertz version. This is the 2.4 gigahertz version. They are identical in, in their performance and their features and functions. They're both uh, either two channel with call or four channels. Uh, the C and the D button could be programmed as a, a stage announce or a, or a relay. Uh, they are 18 hours of battery use and um, these, these can work together on the same base. The next generation of rental screens has arrived. The Fast Fold NXT by Daylight boasts a revolutionary new design that incorporates feedback from owners, technicians, and end users from around the world. The new screen surface offers improved optic capabilities and setup is easier and faster than ever before. The Fast Fold NXT is a complete redesign. We're really excited to show it off uh, here at Infocom. Um, it has completely new extrusion, new hinge, new corners, new surface that 
is 4K ready foldable for rental. Um, we've eliminated a lot of pain points for our customers, no snaps, no rivets, no speedy cranks. The, the case is completely redesigned. So we started with the extrusion to improve strength. The old fast fold had a one inch square extrusion and we've added aluminum, so it's a little bit bigger. Um, we've also pushed the aluminum to the outside uh, to put strength where you need it and create two universal channels where all your attachments, your surfaces and everything can attach to. We've also eliminated rivets and moved everything internal, so now the hinge is inside uh, to give us a really clean line, clean look and also give us additional strength on the hinge. We've also made setup a lot faster and easier with a push button. We have a fixed corner that you just snap pieces together. So there's no longer a stage right or stage left or a top or bottom. You just make your rectangle and snap the piece together. William Sound is taking their hearing hotspot to the next level. With the new all-in-one hearing hotspot server, you can broadcast real-time, high-quality audio to smartphones and tablets via Wi-Fi. Over here at William Sound, and this is a big year for them, 40th anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, yeah and we've been uh, participating in these shows for almost that long. <laughs> so this year, uh, 2016, we're introducing our new Server One, which is the second generation of our hearing hotspot product, which is uh, live streaming audio over Wi-Fi. The front panel, we've got a, a little LCD screen, um, which will uh, allow you to see your individual audio channels and adjust individual audio levels. Um, rear panel, as you can see, is modular, so depending on how many inputs, you, how many channels you need to have for the system, um, you use uh, a different number of modules, and these are set up to either be uh, eight mono channels or four stereo channels per module, so the uh, box itself can handle up to 32 channels. Uh, we also have uh, input for uh, Dante, uh, digital audio network. The system also uh, still provides the uh, facility to be able to push out messaging uh, on the uh, handheld devices. Could either be text messaging, uh, PDFs, or, or other types of uh, visuals that they want to provide to the users. Well, that about does it for day two of Infocom TV News. Tomorrow we'll be showing some highlights from the first two days of the show. Plus, Melora will be checking in with some more late breaking news straight from the show floor. So, how was day two of the show, Melora? Jill, it's been absolutely great. The crew and I are having a blast and everyone that we've talked to has been so nice and enthusiastic. But I cannot believe that tomorrow is already the last day of the show. With so much stuff to see, it just flies by. Yeah, it sure does, Melora, but we're not done just yet. There's still plenty more to see at Infocom 16, so make sure you check back with us tomorrow for more Infocom TV news. On behalf of Melora Donahue and the rest of our team, I'm your host, Jill Nicolini. Thank you for watching.